Hi there guys and welcome back to some more undrafted to MVP. We are on to weeks three and five for this episode as we'll be playing the Redskins apparently twice in a row. So let's get into our first bit of training and then into our first game. From now I'm just going to simulate training because it appears that I'm only getting the same amount of XP for each um, medal that I get. So if I simulate it, we get the same anyway. So, Sim and I think we can actually upgrade Romo again. So, I still think I've got an upgrade build general a bit more. It does take our overall up to 85. So, that's always good. And we do get an extra two on our throw actually short. So, that's good. So, let's get into our first game against the Redskins at FedEx Field. Our confidence should be pretty high given that we had a fourth quarter and overtime comeback against the Eagles and then of course the blowout of Buffalo. Let's see how we do. So we're going to come out with a run for Elliott first of all. As I said in the last episode, every drive should start off with an Elliott run because he's just so good on this at the moment. Why stop when he's not being stopped? Five yards on first down, you get five yards on second down. We're laughing. So third and short, we're going to go for the level sail play. Looks like man coverage because uh, the safety's coming down. It is. Elliot's open. Picks up the first down. And he is absolutely incredible. I have a feeling they're going to key in on Elliot a little bit more, so it might be it might be Romo that has to take the uh, the shoulder of this game. As I say, run on first and second down, and then go play action on third down. We should be laughing. But Elliot looked like he got the first down there, but I'm not sure. Third and one, so no. We're going to give it to Crowell and hope that he gets the one yard we need. He does, and a bit more. Looks more like nine. It is. Yeah. Maybe we'll pass it this time. Now this is a bit like a sail play, or a, or a flood play. Might even look at hitting Elliot underneath. Depending on if uh, no one actually gets open. No one got open, and we got sacked. Brilliant. I'm hoping that Hearns will get open on this. Elliot is though, so it's a nice little catch. He's got two catches for 35 yards, which is nice. A lot of our touchdowns have come out of this play. And there's Michael Thomas. Can't break the tackles, but he is down at the three yard line. And Elliot. Oh, he was in. Good. That's the first, <laughs> the first score of the day comes from Zeke. It's fourth touchdown of the year, as the commentator said, but uh, we are looking good. And if we... Hmm. Okay. Right, well, that was no touchdown. <laughs> Apparently, Elliot did not get in, but uh, they don't seem to be running a goal line formation, so we'll hand it off to Elliot anyway. Knocks down short again. This looks more like a goal line formation because we've got a fullback in. It is, but we hit Thomas, and that's a touchdown. It's our first passing touchdown of the game. I was hoping that Elliot was going to have the touchdown, but as it is, it's a touchdown to Michael Thomas, and that's our ninth touchdown pass of the season. So it's been a big year so far. So we turn the ball over and uh, we get the ball back on the 18-yard line of the Redskins. So they are in prime position to score a game. If you're going to leave, leave the zone open like that for Thomas to run between, we're going to hit him. Looks like cover two. In fact, I might actually hand it off to Elliot there. Hopefully Olawale can get him into the end zone. Well, Olawale led the way, but... Uh, Elliot was stopped on the one yard line again. Let's give it back to Elliot. They haven't got a goal line defense in. 
and he's in that time. And that is a two touchdown lead early in the game. So we've got the ball back early in the second quarter and, you know, the Redskins are not playing well. This looks like a broken team. So give the ball to Elliot. Don't know why he juked and didn't just run forward. We'll hand it to him again. And there we go. There's the bigger, bigger yardage. We've got to run some play action as we've run the ball a lot so far. Oh, not very good at throwing on the run. We're going to go five wide and uh, hope that we can pick up the first down. And that is Michael Gallup wide open. Come on, Zeke, let's go. Oh, a nice little spin. Two of them. I mean, he didn't get a lot out of it. Could have got a lot of yards, but two yards is all we needed anyway. I'll throw it to Michael Thomas, and he is open. Didn't need to throw to Olawale that time. Into the red zone again, and we're going to go five wide again. There's Michael Thomas open. Uh, let's change it to inside zone and uh, give Elliot the ball. He's into the back. Of, he's into the end zone again, and that makes it twenty to nothing. And with three minutes to go in the second quarter, we still have a lot of time to uh, get some more points. Huge hole up the middle on first down for another nine yards. So. Give it to him again. Ideally, I want to hit Hearns or Thomas on the left or Julius Thomas here on the right as he crosses over. And there's Thomas, or Julius Thomas, should I say. This is definitely zone because there's not somebody over Olsen. So with a bit of luck. Oh, Olsen looks like he's open. And Olsen is open for the touchdown. And that is a 40-yard touchdown pass from Romo. It's 10th of the season. And uh, I wasn't expecting the play to be as open as that down the middle. So it's a nice surprise. The last drive, we had our longest touchdown pass of the season. Of the regular season, should I say, because we did have a good one in the, in the preseason as well. But we did concede on the last drive that Washington had. That will do. We'll take Elliot up the middle. Haven't really run verticals too much and thrown the verts. You know what I mean? So we have to throw the ball away because everybody was locked up. So we're going to hit Hearns there. He can't beat the defender. We get seven yards. We're going to run the flood. It's definitely zone. And we'll hit Moncrief on the out there. Actually, I think I'm going to take a timeout and just uh, let the kick go out. It's going to be a 50-yard field goal, which will hopefully be good. It was. Probably will look to hit Olawale on this one, but it does look like it's a blitz from the, the Redskins defense. It was, but I uh, held the ball for too long. Okay, nothing doing. We are going to have to throw the ball. Third and 20. It's zone coverage, for sure. But we're going to hit Moncrief on the corner, and that gets us up to the 41-yard line, and another first down. That corner... Coupled with the, the vert or like the the streak meant that the defender could only cover one person. And now if we just lean on the run game, we can see this game out for sure. After how much of a struggle the Eagles game was, this two game stretch that we've had now against the Bills and now the, the Redskins has just been unbelievable. So far we've conceded a total of 13 points in those two games. 
We'll kick Michael Thomas. And that's another first down. We are driving. So Crowell is in the game now. And uh, we're going to give it to him. He's usually done pretty well on the relief snaps from Elliott. He's got three rushes for 17 yards. So he's over five yards to carry, which is nice. He's back in. We'll give it to him. He cuts back. But cuts back too far. And ends up only gaining a single yard. It's not something that I've run in the past. Or that I know I've run in the past, should I say. Oh, hit Elliot. Oh, who was that? Elliot just completely slowed down. The kickers it wasn't really long. Are so good and, so skilled and, hit from distances that we and there we have another great run from Elliot. Nine yards on first down. We're just going to keep handing it off to Elliot. I want to get him to 100 yards. I also want to get, to get uh, Michael Thomas to 100 yards, but it's not likely to happen. Yet, he's only on 64. Oh, stayed up nicely and gets eight yards. And there he is, 100 yards on the day. Somehow he spun out of that tackle. Unreal. Elliot doesn't pick up the first down there, though. And it looks like we should get the edge here as well. I mean, it's the first down and seven yards, so we'll take that. 25 rushes, 113 yards, and two touchdowns for Elliott today. We have Olawale wide open in the flat, and as a tight end, or converted to fullback, he's used to those catches, gets 40 yards there. Looks like man. I want to hit Michael Thomas, ideally. It's zone. It's uh, well, touchdown. So, Thomas has another touchdown. Romo has another touchdown. And uh, this game is well and truly over. So, we come out with this Texas play. Hopefully, I won't get sacked on it this time. Looks like... Looks like man. And there's Olsen. Not as open as I probably wanted him to be, but he's been... Excellent on those uh, post routes. This dig play, I'm hoping that Michael Thomas will come open. It's more than likely going to be Olsen. It is Olsen. If I'd waited us a few seconds more, Thomas would have been open, but I probably would have been buried in the dirt. Fingers crossed he can get around that this time as well. Oh, it's nice. It's a, it's a good attempt at a spin, and I think he gets five yards. This game is pretty much over. It's 41-14 at the two-minute warning, so... I don't know, is it worth... just running some dives and getting out of here? Or do we go and try and score some more? It's a big hole up the middle, and Elliot decides to try and... Uh, <laughs> go up our blockers backside but we do get the first down heavy set and this should be the last play of the game Elliot is through a big hole there oh do we we're in the red zone now we might as well have a go of it uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one, despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak. Ooh. Late Ooh, bad throw. Really bad throw. Looks like so. Offense isn't possessing it, making plays downfield. And you just continue to harass the receivers, harass the quarterback. That was terrible. Really terrible. We're going to pad the kicker stats as well and uh, give him a field goal. 35 yarder. What? Doesn't want to be Romo out there. Did you see that? I'm definitely going to have to... <laughs> Check the stats on that because <laughs> if that's Tony Romo's field goal, then what can't this guy do? 
No, it was me. It was Nathan Brown who went out and kicked three field goals, so that's good. And uh, that is the end of game one. So week five, and we do have the Redskins again. So we're going to sim training, upgrade our player because he, well, has an upgrade now after that training session, which means we can go up another skill point. Gone for field general again. So his accuracy and mid has gone up again. If we look at the ratings, we're finally looking a bit more like a NFL quarterback rather than having terrible short accuracy, okay mid and good deep. We've got good deep, good medium and better short. So let's get into our second game against the Washington Redskins. So after the last game, we obviously were pretty good and won that one, what, 44 to 14. Washington scored on their first drive this time around, so it's time to uh, go back and get the points back that we just conceded. So as always, first, first play, hand off to Zeke. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Nothing really there. Two yards. Not ideal. You have to persist with the run game. You know, it looks like we've got the numbers there on the left. And Elliott should pick up the first, and he does. And this is man coverage by the looks of things. There's only five in the box. Oh, Ryan Kerrigan just smacking Elliott as he comes across. There's not a lot there today, or there wasn't a lot there early against these last time, to be fair. We need to pick up this first down and get ourselves rolling and just make sure that we keep ourselves in this game. Yep, there's Michael Thomas. Here comes Zeke. Bang. Only got three, but uh, we're going back to him. Should hopefully pick up a few more. Make it an easier third down. It's Crowell, and I think he's picked up, well, four there by the looks of things, or from what the stats are saying. Wow. We had no time. Deron Payne, by the looks of things, just completely broke through. Okay, so although we didn't score, we didn't concede any more points, so that's good. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school Zeke. Keep it going. He picks up 10 yards there, so that's his best run of the day so far. Does bring up second in inches. We've still got less yards than what Washington have. Maybe we need to go to the pass game a little bit more. Zeke picks up first down and has a lovely spin back. Seven rushes, 35 yards, averages out of five. Flank a dig will hopefully give Thomas open over the middle. If not, it will have to be short to Olsen. There he is, Michael Thomas, smacked by Swearinger. Looks like man, but uh, could quite well be cover three. It is. Give Michael Thomas the ball and he's down at the one. I was thinking about slants there, but from the looks of them, they've got Moncrief and uh, Thomas's side stacked. So we'll go with the run and Elliot is in for the touchdown. So we get the ball back and Washington failed to score again. So they've only scored on three drives over a game and a quarter. But they are they are holding us to just seven points so far this game. Okay, play action. We'll hit Moncrief. He's our fastest receiver. Hopefully he can get loose. So Elliot's got ten rushes for forty-two yards. We've got seventy-eight yards. So we've only got one hundred and twenty so far this first half. Pretty good about that one. Michael Thomas gets smacked and drops the ball. So, third and five. Looks like cover three. That one, I was wrong about the coverage again. It was man. 
I just don't know anymore. I should stop trying to predict it. We are efficient as an offense. Okay. Oh no. Sacks. That's the first sack of the game. I haven't been sacked much over the last game and a half. I'd love to hit Gallup on this, but I know it could it could well end up being Moncrief. It is Gallup. Oh. He broke. I threw it just as he broke his route and. Oh. Lovely play. As I said in the last game, stick always tends to get us a good play, especially down this close to the end zone. Whether it's Thomas or Olsen, of course, Olsen got the game winning touchdown against the Eagles. Run. Oh, I'm in for a Russian touchdown. There we go. Second Russian touchdown of the season. We're on our one yard line. Yeah, Elliot, we're giving it to you, mate. I don't mind that. It takes us out of our own end zone, so that's good. Ooh. It's a zone blitz from the looks of the thing. And then there's Thomas. Out at the 21 yard line. That's what we'd like to see. Might not have a passing touchdown yet this game, but we've been quietly efficient with our throws. It looks like a man coverage look. Or it has a man coverage look to it. We're going to make another run. Ugh. Three rushes for 22 yards. It's our greatest rushing output ever. Play action. Ooh. Michael Thomas making the catch. He saved my bacon there because that was a pick waiting to happen. Looks like man coverage. You're just hoping that they make good decisions because so many things can happen that can go And Moncrief with a catch. He doesn't have many catches, Moncrief, even though he's our fastest receiver. I want to hit Olsen here. Consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call him an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that. Okay. Going back to slants, because I know it's safe. For second down, staying ahead of schedule. So the incomplete pass on the last play in that So Coppen, who's our rookie receiver, is to our left. And we're gonna hit him. And he's got his first touchdown in the NFL. I'm happy for him as well. So we get the ball back to start the second half as well. We'll start it on the ground. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And able to stay up. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to that should be a first down. As you can see there, 14 rushes for 59 yards is not the numbers that we're used to seeing Elliott get. We used to 14 rushes and like 80 yards or something like that, but that's just getting rolling. Those yards will come. It's great block in there. They've even gone, down to, gone to three down linemen to try and stop the run. And ultimately they did. <laughs> it looks like it will work again if you look, everybody's inside. There's nobody really outside of the tackle box. And Elliot does get the first down. Just, but he does get it. Crowell was in this time. Don't know why he cut it back, because that was a terrible run. There's Olsen. And oh, they had a linebacker just lurking. Just lurking underneath, ready to try and pick off that pass to Olawale, but Olsen was open. Elliot cuts back and it was the right idea but only gets two yards out of it so they've started to lock up on uh, the inside zone. Oh, I've got to run it again. Ooh, tackle from behind. It's four rushes for 29 yards for Tony Romo. So... Uh, Elliot tried to spin outside, but should have just got his head down, gone for one yard, and got the touchdown, but he didn't. 
Instead, we settle for the field goal. Just saw the touchdown go the other way, so it's a two-score game. We're not done here yet. I think That's a nicer run. Ten yards. Give it back to him, and he just about gets it. He's really not been efficient with his runs today. He had a lot of space in front of him. Instead, hopped around behind the, the centre's butt and uh, got tackled short, or shorter than what he could have had. Okay, there. Did he really need to cut right there? Could he have just run forward going left? Probably. So, we'll hand it back off to Elliot. Got seven on the last run. Five on that one. So he's almost at 100, 100 rushing yards. Oh, that's a nice hole that they opened up there. Up to 101 yards, so that's good. 24 rushes. It's good blocking and that's good running as well from Elliot. Strong running. It's not a play that I would often use. I don't actually think they work too too well on Madden all the time, but Elliot breaks a few tackles there. This is the play that we had Olsen open for a touchdown in the last game. Whether we have him again is another thing. Oh. Whew. If we can get six or seven yards, I reckon the kicker's got a chance. A shotgun snap for Turn up field. The kicker's got a chance from there, but whether the, the coaches decide that that's what we're going to do is another thing. Oh, he did, and he got it. Isaiah Crowell get, takes the stretch, sorry, takes the handoff, runs the stretch, and gets a big gain down to their 15. So we are in prime position to score. Michael Thomas is the guy we want here. He's open for it. Can't break the tackle of the safety, but uh, we are now down basically at the goal line. Michael Thomas has 118 yards today, which is what we like to see. This formation, everybody is outside. Like the, the offensive tackles, so we might as well run the ball with Elliot. He doesn't get it, though. They don't look like they're actually going to send anybody here. So we'll run it in for another touchdown. Uh, Tony Romo doing the uh, the hype dance from Fortnite doesn't quite look right, does it? We're going to go for two. Make it a full three score, a full three touchdown lead. And there's Alan Hearns for two points. So that should finalise our win here. We win the game 35-14. to 14. We will have a look at the uh, stats. Arguably we didn't have the greatest game. 139.5 pass rating, 14-16 for 219 yards and just one touchdown. But, uh, no interceptions was key today. Rushing, Elliot had 29 carries for 122 and one touchdown. Romo had five carries for 30 yards and two touchdowns. Did fumble once, but we didn't lose it. But that is going to take us to the end of episode seven of Undrafted to MVP. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including more Undrafted to MVP, then please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.